Hello, I'm Bob Jeffrey here in New York. Welcome to today's edition of World Makers. From film to fashion, tech startups to advertising, this is a city where things get made. And as the song goes, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Today on World Makers, we'll meet some of the visionaries making the future happen right now. Welcome to World Makers. Today, I'm sitting down with Jeff Benjamin, JWT's North American Chief Creative Officer. Jeff, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me, Bob. Okay, so I have a question for you. We okay. were talking, as we usually do, right? right? And one of the comments you made, but sometimes when you say stuff, I don't know if you're serious or not, you said when you told your parents you were going into advertising, they didn't speak to you for two years. Is, is, was that true or is it, it was wasn't a slight exaggeration? Or? That wasn't the last thing they said for two years. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it was a little bit after that, but, you know, all of high school, college, you know, I, was def I definitely was one of those people. As you know, I have got ADD, so I definitely tried a lot of different things. Right. I mean, what was there about advertising at that point? Because when, when you were thinking about advertising, it's so different now than it right. was then. Right. So what, what was it? Was it a pop culture thing? What was it that got what you interested? What I like about it? You have to be curious. You have to be wondering and questioning the world. And then you also have to be a participant, you know? I had a I had an experience once where it was a new client. You know, they're talking about how they just couldn't figure out why you know they hadn't done anything with Facebook. You know, they were like, you know, we have this, this brand, and uh, we just don't understand why we haven't done anything great there. And uh, you know, I discovered that this person doesn't have a Facebook account. They don't want to be on Facebook uh, as an individual. Well, you're never going to come up with a great idea for Facebook. You know, any of that technology, if you're not participating in it. You know yourself, because what do you? How do you know what's good? You know what's bad? What's missing from this medium? Um, you know how do people use it? How do people not use it but could be using it? Um, unless you're participating with technology, you there's no way you can be inspired to come up with any of those any any of the great ideas. So it it, it wasn't you know it wasn't coincidence that this person has no Facebook account and they've never done anything great in that space for their brand. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I think you have to really embrace everything in this business or else you, you become arcane yeah. very quickly. Yeah, and it's tough. I mean, there's so much going on. You know, especially like, now. Especially these days. Twitter, Instagram, like, you know what I mean? Like, so but, how do you keep on top of everything? Because You just gotta try, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I look completely nuts, I'm sure, but I'm Instagramming my food. <laughs> 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 because that's what people do. And, and, and you've got to do it. You've got to approach it like an anthropologist. So what's next for you when you think about the next, I mean, do you wake up and think about, you know, what's the next thing I'm going to attack? How am I going to do something as good as I did before? Is that, is that yeah. what drives you? Or how do you think about that? I think you want to do that thing that, you know, hasn't been done. When I was getting into advertising, I wanted to get into interactive advertising because there was that bar. You know, there was a bar of invention into everything you did, and, and, it, and it doesn't exactly exist, you know, in, in TV and radio, and all that stuff's important. But for me, the invention part, you know, that's what I get excited about. What can we bring to the world that the world hasn't seen? Culture has sort of advanced to a point where, you know, people out there are expecting brands to, to connect with them in new ways that they hadn't been connected with before. They're expecting new products from a brand or reinvented products. Um, and that's, they're expecting that. So, if, and if a brand's not doing that, right. they're not going to be around. So what brands are out there, do you think, that are leading the way on that? Like, you know, the brands that are the most inventive? Yeah. You know, I mean, the, the ones that everyone knows about are, you know, ones like Nike, Nike right? right? You know, they do such a great job, you know, with, with saying, look, the shoe industry, there's so much parity there. Right. How does one shoe or one brand become more valuable than another? Well, you got to invent. And, right, and I, that was... I, I can't, it was a top secret meeting that you and I were in, but that was a great kind of explanation you did about they've gone beyond the shoe to more purposeful type right, of marketing right, of products right. and services. Right. I mean. Um, and then they've baked that advertising into these new products and services that they've, that they've created. And there's and, nothing to hold brands back from doing that except imagination, right? I mean, any brand yeah. could really think that yeah. way. Yeah. That's the opportunity now that exists. But I also think you, a, a brand, whether you like, you have to have the vision to know that if you're not going to do it, you're not going to be successful. It's a moment when a brand discovers that they can matter. And, and that's what you want. 
Yeah, it's interesting because uh, a lot there. of times we talk about how does a brand become relevant and how do they become distinctive, yeah. and it's more than just what we call advertising, right? Yeah. It's about building those deeper connections, yeah. but also having a purpose. I mean, there's this movie, Deep Impact. Asteroids coming to hit Earth is definitely hitting. And uh, they say, look, we're going to take all the important people and put it in this mountain, right? So human, humans know his arc. So they're putting, like, doctors, teachers, scientists, you know, politicians, like, all these important people. And I'm watching that, and I'm realizing, if this ever really happened, I'm not getting invited to the mountain. <laughs> not getting invited to the mountain. And it's hard to really feel like you matter sometimes in, uh, in, in advertising and in, in doing what we do. Um, but there are moments when you can, and when you do it right, you are mattering. It's like, wow, that gives me hope that maybe there is space for us in the mountain. You know, that's a great way to uh, wrap it up because I think often, especially us in the industry, we're always self-deprecating about advertising, but I love the idea that we actually do matter right. or can matter right. if we're in, inventive and innovative. For sure. Thanks, Jeff. Great thank having you. you on Worldmakers. And thank you for watching the latest edition of Worldmakers. Makers.